Um, um. Uh, we'd like to say welcome to Big Baby Liberia official press release Wednesday Thursday 21st October 2020 uh, we appreciate all of our media houses here present and our general audience as we bring you forth this press release on behalf of the Big Baby Liberia team we extend a warm greetings to the citizens, investors, residents, international audience, and visitors to the Republic of Liberia. We wholeheartedly appreciate your deep concerns and corrections so far. It is a thing of pride to our team to have received the full interest of the general public. Therefore, we use this opportunity to apologize to the general public for our shortcomings during the grand final. On Tuesday, 13th of October 2020, few days before the grand finale, we allow all nine finalists to speak to their PROs, public relations officers, on the importance of the 30 minutes audience voting window and try as much as possible to converge enough of their fans at the audience ground and grand finale. But to no avail for many finalists, nevertheless, we hereby nullify the audience votes that were conducted during the grand finale of the program. And strictly based the winning justification on the online and SMS voting. Below are the authenticated results of all nine panelists as received from the coalition companies. The result below can be verified privately, even to the list of individual audience votes and time. Most importantly, the SMM votes through MTN Lone Star Liberia. Online voting results by 40% aggregate. Lean, Rika, 40%. Kelvin, 38%. Tribute, 37%. Native, 35%. Sialy, 31%. Abby, 30%. Fikilicious, 28%. Ginger Five, 20%. And Louis, 16%. SMS voting results by 60% aggregate. Tribute, 6,358 votes. Accumulated percentage, 60%. Rika, 5,579 votes. Percentage, 53%. Abby, 4,763%, Louis, 4,287%, votes, 40%, Sialin, 3,280 votes, 31%, Ginger Five, 2,888 votes, 27%, Native, 2,356 votes, 22%. Kelvin, 2,108 votes, 20%. And Fikilicious, 1,793 votes, 17%. Both online and SMA voting results in total aggregate of 100%. Mean, Tribute, 60 plus 37, equivalent percentage of 97%. Rika, 53% plus 40%, equivalent to 93%. Abby, 40 plus 30, equivalent to 70%. C, 
say Allen, 31 plus 31 equivalent to 62%. Louis, 45 plus 16 equivalent to 61%. Ginger Fat, 27 plus 20 equivalent to 47%. Native, 22 plus 35 equivalent to 57%. Kelvin, 20 plus 38 equivalent to 58%. Fickelicious, 17 plus 28 equivalent to 45%. Tributes to our in first place, Rika second and Abby third. Due to the, the gender equity team of BBL 2020, the final three had to be gender balanced. Dos Lewis, being the only male contestant with the highest number of votes, became third from his fifth position of aggregate to balance our winners in a gender sensitive manner. The official announcement will have come earlier than now, but due to a vote, Placed on our proceedings by the Coalition of society, Civil Society Organizations of Liberia on Saturday, October 17, 2020, upon claims of receiving reports and allegations of manipulations. Thus, we were ordered to submit the online and SMS results of the grand finale for their Peruso and Toro findings. We gladly obliged and submitted both results to the coalition on Tuesday, 20 October 2020 at around 5 p.m. We received a congratulatory message from the Coalition of society, Civil Society Organization of Liberia acknowledging the authenticity. I turn over to the project coordinator to proceed from where I start. Thank you very much. Uh, on behalf of the entire BBL team, the partners, the sponsors, and the audience at large, we appreciate the audience, both international and local audience, which we promise we will never take you for granted. We record and welcome all your input. We appreciate the fact that the Coalition of Civil Society Organization of Liberia reached out to us and authenticated claims and counter claims the result they received from the aggrieved parties. By doing so, we use this opportunity to express our personal dissatisfaction from the coalition of civil society organization of their initial approach to our team, most especially to the executive director and the person of myself. I wasn't so satisfied with their initial approach, but it is good and uh, is for the sake of the populace, which we understand. But we thought they could handle it more politely the first time they invited us. On behalf, we are still waiting for their apologies since they are claimed that confirmed the results legitimately. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Big Bravi Liberia team, partners, sponsors, stakeholders, and supporters, and the entire media group, we hereby declare as the winner of the maiden edition of Pip Bravi Liberia, Shebu Miss Chebu Brown, as the winner of Pip Bravi Liberia 2020, followed by Miss Ulrika Snyder, aka Rika, and in third position is Mr. Louis Suarez. Here goes, Miss Chebu wins an official car, a round trip to Dubai and 10,000 US dollar worth of prices and many more. In adding value, respectively, to other winners that have put their efforts and dedications so far in the project, we decided to honor the two other winners, whereby it goes. Miss Orika wins a round trip to Nigeria and 1,000 US dollar pet project supportive fund from Team BBO. Mr. Louis Suare, as the third in the position, is awarded a one-year educational scholarship. As a round of BBO 2020, we all utterly appreciate our highly esteemed audience and supporters, both home and abroad, 
most especially Liberians in diaspora, for your overwhelming support. We couldn't have achieved this without your love and support. We hereby promise you all hands on deck to correct our errors made in this meeting edition of BBO with determination at improving on the experiences to make the next edition more glamorous, entertaining, bigger, and better than the last. In going on, BBS is in two with your support and uh, with your notice is later to run from May to June 2021. The audition will be held in April 2021. Form sales will commence in February 2021. Stay tuned and for more information and inquiries, you can contact us through any of our medium. Note before we round up, BBI would like to share to the world at large that no other money or fee paid or collected by the entire housemate from the beginning to the end of BBL project, BBL 2020 project, rather than the 20 US dollar form fee paid by the individuals for auditioning. Anyone, any of the housemate or contestants that paid more or additional to any of the organizers or any of our recruiting agents should please report or forward your complaints to us or to the Coalition of Civil Society of Liberia as soon as possible. It has come to our attention that criminals are parading themselves, there are some criminals parading themselves as members of the Big Brabby Liberia franchise and are impersonating us on Facebook page which named Big Brabby Liberia 2020. We are using this medium to announce to the general public that any other page other than our official Big Brabby Liberia BBL page with over 60,000 followers and over 30,000 likes, any other page named as type like us is a total impersonation and should be immediately reported to the owners of such social media. We have already contacted the security agencies to apprehend any corporate fund wanting. Once again, thanks a million for the love, support shown us, and the opportunity given to us to broaden and improve the Liberia entertainment industry. Without you, we will not be here. On behalf of the entire team, we are sorry for our shortcoming and for our mistakes. And uh, we have all your concerns and uh, recommendations online and on board. We are working tirelessly to engage more professionals and more arms to make Big Brabby Liberia season two to be more glamorous and more better. On behalf of the team, united we stand, divided before. God bless Liberia, God bless Africa. Thank you. Okay, that was our press uh, release. So we have the opportunity to look to the media for questions. Uh, yeah, we have Chichi Polygon, we have Inside Liberia, we have Gossip Liberia, we have Dama Online. So, uh, you guys, the floor is open for questions. Yeah, Dama Online. Uh, um, I'm Sheikh Mohammed from Dama Online. Give me audible, so I'm Sheikh Mohammed from Dama Online. And then my question has to do with uh, excluding the, the SMM votes and that of the online vote. Uh, what was the impact of the audience vote? Thank you very much, uh, Diamond Online representative. Immediately, we are summoned to coalition of our civil society of the very organization that morning. The first thing they told us is immediately we should nullify the audience vote. Since it was not well communicated, even though we posted it on our, on our page, but it was not well communicated to the general audience that we should nullify it. That the only one to deal with the online and SMS votes, which online goes for 40% and the SMS goes for 60%. Basically, immediately we had to nullify the audience vote, which is not having anything to do with the results read and that made the winner won. 
So in short, the audience vote that was done in the house, mm -hmm. the civil society told us to cancel it, and they were looking straight there at the SMS and the online voting results, because that was part of our proposals. And uh, to round off, we are sorry the society on our mistakes on that. Okay, so my name is Afwa and I'm from Chichi Poly Room. Um, so what, I, what I'm trying to understand is that despite the in-house votes, where we saw, you know, tribute tapping as well, um, she also tapped the SMS vote. Definitely. Exactly. Which, that's why. which um, was added to her online vote that would give her the 90 something, 97%, 97 percent. That led her to win. Exactly. Here's the result from the telecommunication giant office, MTN Lone Star Liberia. So can we go to Lone Star? Can somebody go to Lone Star? For instance, um, because there were, there were a lot of controversies after you know the, the entire um, show. Um, can can Rika or any of the housemen who fell, you know, or cheated take that, those results and go to Lone Star? Because obviously I believe Lone Star won, uh, you know, Okay. Clear their name Definitely. as well. Can they go there and verify that those were the votes that you know they made they got? Thank you very much. We don't even want it to be housemates so that it won't be as if our housemates are our home. We want any international society or any organization or any groups to go to Lone Star and confirm the results as we mentioned and highlighted it. If you find us faulty, we'll take responsibility for it forever and we'll take the penalty. Alright, yes. Okay. I'm Boyman Gordon from Isa Liberia. Yes, I'm a poison goes to BBRT. On what basis was the, the in house voting? Because from the onset, we stated that you have only two processes of voting with the online and the SMS. So, what led to you guys imposing another form of voting? Or a prior notice. On your page, you stated that uh, there will be a 30 minute vote on the day of the final. But it did not, it did not address and spell out how the voting be there. So, what was the intent of bringing an additional voting process prior to the two? Thank you very much. The intent of bringing additional votes was not basically only to the organizers. At the time, we had 15 housemates in the house. We had meeting with the entire 15 housemates. Some people were complaining that they don't have Lone Star Life and they don't have card to vote online. And they cannot go and buy another phone because they want to vote for their fellow housemates, for their uh, interested housemates. So we had meeting like, okay, we can give them the momentum for them to participate at the grand final like an audience vote. That was the idea of the audience vote. And immediately we agreed, we posted it on our page on October 11. But our shortcoming is that we didn't identify it to the world how it will be staged. And not to forget, three days before, it was read in this uh, brief. We allowed the last nine final persons that there will be a live vote at the venue. And they should please and make sure they convert audience to the place. But nevertheless, no justification because of our presentation on that day, which is a force to our own side, which we are taking responsibility of it. The way we presented it, it is not the right way we're supposed to present it. But basically, it was what we concluded with the housemates even before we staged it. And it was already highlighted on our page by October 11, even before the day. But we are sorry, and uh, we accepted our own group and uh, fought in that respect. Thank you. Okay, sorry. Okay. Last question. Yeah, last question. Yeah. Um, there were before the the day of the grand finale, and um, before the day of the grand finale, there was a lot of things being said on social media, and even images, you know, appeared on social media with the host of BBL. The male host of BBL that night, <laughs> an image surfaced. Because I'm asking these questions because these are questions that people are asking, they want to know, you know, because in order to clear your name, yeah, you have yeah. to, you know, 
Yes, our, our image appeared of Parfumo the Comedian and um, Ousu and our guy, and then with Tribute's mom at the back, picture. wearing the same outfit she wore to the event. What did I say here? Am I trying my libel? <laughs> yes, wearing the same outfit you know she wore to the event. Most people have been speculating that you guys already had, you know, something under your sleeves to give this, you know, title to yeah. tribute. And looking online, what we saw, we saw Rika, 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 and the online votes were already out. What do you have to say with Owusu and Tribute Mom being in the same position on a picture the same day of the event? And, Thank you very and, much. Also, and also to add, and also matching to what uh, Paul Fumo said that if Tribute doesn't, doesn't win, doesn't win, you should call him dog. 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 Yeah, dog. and then Tribute won, so there is no one who call him dog. So we, the people, people are listening, they are watching, they need to know. And you Thank know, you, thank you very much. And before I hand over to uh, my media coordinator, in a round of statement, Liberia is a country that somebody knows somebody. And even that particular thing happened around six o'clock, and the winner already won since twelve o'clock. You understand? If there is any play we want to play in this whole process, we have a total control of the online. We should have played our dirty game through online. These are the things, but we don't have anything to justify. These are the things we want the general public to understand. You understand? So whatever the picture it is, Owusu is a celebrity, Poploma is a celebrity. And the general public should not forget, Poploma is one of the biggest BBL antagonists. So even we were so surprised, immediately we saw a that was saying, if Tribu doesn't win, we should call him dog. Up to this moment, Poflomo doesn't greet most of us. It's like a tango to be here. You understand? So all this related to this, related to this, we understand when issue is coming, everybody wants to. And again, I would like to address something. There was a result that was flying around, that this is the result a day before the final, two days before the final. Tell the people that were showing the results to show the dates. They were showing the past results. Tell them that there is a date. By the time you are going through MTN dashboard, you will see a date beside the vote. That we know. Yes. Because I noticed that after Friday, <laughs> when the voting line closed, no votes can enter. Exactly. Until Monday. So yes, definitely, we are very sorry on that. We didn't know about it. But not a whistle that will determine who wins BPL or who doesn't win. I guess it's just to us, it's just a coincidence. Uh, okay, so uh, 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 we are running out of time, so round up. Uh, that, that good question from, yeah. from one of our audience. Uh, mm -hmm. I think you need to address that question. So it was communicated to the public that online vote will constitute 40% uh, and SMN 60%. Yes. So why are these doing, that during the final, only online vote were published and not SMN? Definitely, thank you very much on that. If you come, you, you are aware, you are at the venue, we had a projector to project the, the, winner, the SMS boots. But so unfortunate, there was no connector in the hall. No technical so issue that. Our fire and the host himself read the results out that for confirmation. And that was why we personally decided to announce officially on Saturday with evidences. But before the announcement, pronouncement time, the civil society came into this, which really, let me say, helped us and also embarrassed us at the beginning. Okay, so uh, again, we like to say we are deeply sorry, and the big rabbit team, we apologize to our audience, especially those guys from the diaspora who took up the time to support this process. And we can assure the public, Liberians, that we will rectify all of our mistakes gearing towards the next season. And the civil society organization did extremely well by putting a heart for us uh, making pronouncement on our official page because they wanted to verify all of our results. Okay. We are asking the public, Lone Star Cell is open, you can walk at MTM office and just request Big Bradley Liberia 
2020 results. Result. From day one. Yeah, we, we, we told Lone Star Cell to share it to the public. So you can go there, private individuals, company stakeholders, civil society group, you can go and make a round on this. We appeal that we will learn from our mistakes, some of our technical fault. This is the media edition. And in time, we can improve. This is for Liberia. So again, the winner for Big Baby Liberia 2020, made the edition, and no one else but Miss Tribby Brown, second runner, Miss Erika Snyder, and Ted Lewis. Let me make this clear that Lewis came as third runner because of the general equity balance that we told this project about. Lewis came fifth, but because we want to have a sense of belonging to general equality. Louis have to come before Abby and Sally to have a gender balance. So thank you. Thank you so uh, much. You, 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 you can just repeat their prices in it. Okay. The prices for okay. first, second, and third. The first, okay, the first winner we know. The, the second and third winner. The first winner, the winner, the first winner mm -hmm. of Big Baby Liberia, mm -hmm. Miss Tribby Brown wins an official car, mm -hmm. a round trip to Dubai. And ten thousand United States dollars worth of prices. We shall be turned over. Uh, we have official data that will come the case. Yeah, yeah. Then the second winner, Miss Erika, wins a trip, a round trip to Nigeria, <laughs> and one thousand United States dollars pet project support form from the team. Pet project, clarify. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, pet project. Whatever project she wants. Whatever project she wants to do, we, to do, we will support it with one thousand. As we in the extra one thousand she receiving. No. no, this is the same one thousand. Oh, the one thousand US project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A round trip to Nigeria. Let me make it clear. A round trip to Nigeria and one thousand United States dollars towards a project. Uh, accommodation included. Yeah, yeah, everything, yeah. everything, full yeah. cover. And Mr. Louis Suare is awarded with a one-year educational scholarship. Two semesters. Yes, two semesters. Two semesters. Yeah. Two semesters. Yeah. Any university of his choice. He, he's already at yeah. university. Yeah. Uh, okay. Any university of the yeah, church? Yeah, any university of church. Any university. Well, and no, again, to run up, there was something that surfaced on the school school. internet a few hours ago that people said, uh, we already found the car, <laughs> so triple family house. Anybody that wants to sell the car, we can show you where the car is. The car is, is still a big baby house. Okay. But the car is still where we found this since the day the car came to Liberia. The We've house. not done the official and over. Okay. Until we pronounce. Okay. Okay. So uh, we have to run up. Just one advice: next next year before coming out, please make sure you get an auditing firm to verify we, we, all we, of we, our we, we have we have added all of these to our working for next next year. We hope that the civil society group, the Ministry of Information, our auditing firm, and everybody will be part of this to have a successful. Big Baby Library season two. So thank you so much. Keep gentlemen of media. Yeah. Thank you so you. much. Thank you, Mark. Cut. 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 Cut.